Hi guys and welcome to 2020 with Zometry. This is the time of year when most of us like to, to make resolutions, set goals, or, or plan for the next 12 months and beyond. So in this episode of Smarter Machining, what we'd like to do is make a few suggestions on capital equipment that you might like to add to your machining portfolios this year that we see an increased demand for. So the first piece of capital equipment that I would suggest adding to your portfolio if you don't already have it is a fifth axis machining center. There's many reasons for this, but my favorite reason is holding tolerances, tight tolerances that are on data on two different planar surfaces. This is definitely a piece of equipment that Zometry could help keep the capacity full on. The second asset that I would suggest adding to your portfolio would be a fourth axis. Even if you just add a fourth axis or even a half axis to your current three axis vertical milling centers, this has many of the same advantages that adding a fifth axis would have to your shop in that you can hold tolerances, especially along radial surfaces. And this is also another asset that Zometry could definitely help keep the capacity full on. The third asset that I would suggest adding to your portf portfolio would be a live action or live tooling lathe. This, this gives you an opportunity to still take lathe work that needs mill work done to it even when your mills are at capacity. The fourth asset that I would recommend adding to your shop would be an EDM. This allows you to be able to take work that needs a lot of machining that you wouldn't have normally been able to take because maybe there was one feature in there that the width to depth ratio was, was you know, you didn't have a way to do or there's a feature that had to have square corners in it and you couldn't do it before. It just allows you to take more work and we see a lot of this more and more. So this is definitely the type of machine that Geometry could help you keep the capacity full on. The fifth asset I would suggest adding to your port, your machining portfolio would be a water jet or a laser. This doesn't only allow you the efficiency to make flat cutout stuff now, but it also gives you the ability to cut out blanks for machining processes and, and save you time on what you would what you would have had to mill off. Now you've got the basic shape and maybe you just need to add a few features to it. But it's a time saver and a money maker. Thank you for tuning in to Smarter Machining. 